What's up, everyone? I'm Jeffrey Wrestling, the voice of the TWC Tom Watts Collection. This is AEW Project. This is an intro. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what this whole project's going to look like. It's going to look exactly like AEW does week in and week out. You're going to have AEW Dark. You're going to have AEW Dark Elevation. You're going to have Dynamite. You're going to have Rampage. You're going to have Battle of the Belt specials. You're going to have pay-per-views. With all that being said, this is exactly how I would book AEW for one year and it's going to kick off episode one is just going to be a little highlight video to kind of get things kicked off it's going to be revolution the pay-per-view um, that will be dropping on the channel it's already been recorded the actual revolution pay-per-view is a little different the storylines leading to it which I'll kind of cover here in a moment are going to be a little different because some of the things that have happened on dynamite in the last few weeks kind of changed exactly the way I would have done things um, so with that being said, let's take a look at the match card for Revolution. We'll go ahead and drop it here and then be look on the lookout for that that first pay-per-view. I, I think I might drop it the week before Revolution. It'll kind of drop um, and give you guys some time to check it out. It's going to be a long highlight video of all the matches that took place on my Revolution. And then Dynamite will kick off Wednesday and we will drop each show on the day that they would normally drop. So AEW Dynamite will be on Wednesday, Rampage on Friday, Dark Elevation on Monday, Dark on Tuesday. So that's the way it's going to go. And with that being said, let's take a look at my pay-per-view match card. All right, so one thing I would have changed right out the get, Samoa Joe and Darby Allen, they had their wild matchup. I would have had Wardlow return on uh, Dynamite, and he would have cost Samoa Joe the matchup, cost him against Darby Allen. Darby Allen still the TNT champion, and Wardlow one on one with Samoa Joe. Eddie Kingston and Ortiz, they've been having problems. They would have had a whole you know thing with the House of Black, and can they coexist? Can they work together? And they would take on the House of Black at the pay per view. Uh, Ricky Starks and Chris Jericho. Pretty self-explanatory the way that one's been working out. That'll be a heck of a matchup on the pay-per-view. The AEW Tag Team titles, they've kind of already switched the titles. I would have not done that. Um, the Guns would take on the Acclaimed at the pay-per-view. That's where this whole thing uh, would kick off instead of having the matchup on Dynamite. Same thing with this one. We already saw this matchup on Dynamite. Uh, top Flight and AR Fox against the Elite. I would have just saved it for the pay-per-view and made it a pay-per-view matchup. Um, it would have. Been, I, I think it's. It, you'll see. It's going to be an awesome matchup on Revolution. I would have, you know, drug it out a little longer. Same with this one. We got Britt Baker, uh, Jamie Hayter taking on Tony Storm and Soraya. This feud's been building. It would have built up to a tag team matchup for the pay per view. Adam Page and John Moxley. They've been going back and forth. Um, they would have been doing it, but this time it would be no rules between Adam Page and John Moxley. I think that might be the direction AEW is still going uh, for the Revolution pay per view. We would have had the face of the Revolution ladder matchup. These men would have all had to have qualified on Dynamites. Uh, Will Hobbs, Keith Lee, Action and Dreddy, Jungle Boy, Swerve. And Sammy Guevara, you know, uh, with those men in a ladder match, you know it would be awesome. And then the return of Adam Cole. He would make his return matchup. He would have a hand-picked opponent, and he would take on to uh, Takeshita. And then the main event, it's already set. Brian Danielson, MJF, Iron Man match, one hour. Brian Danielson, MJF world title. Doesn't get bigger than that. So the stage is set. Revolution would be the first program that'll take place right here on the AEW Project. You can catch all of the AEW Project right here on the TWC Tom Watts Collection. I will make a playlist so you can watch in chronological order if you get behind, and you can watch week in and week out. I really look forward to it. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and we are set to be kicking off with Revolution. Be on the lookout for that dropping, and then, of course, after that, drops on the uh, the pay-per-view you can catch dynamite on wednesday like i said um rampage on friday aew dark and dark elevation on the mondays and tuesdays and i am jeffrey wrestling that's all i wanted to say this is an intro to what is aew project right here on the tom watts collection